guys, Livy here. You're watching the speed build of the brand new house I have built for Tess and James from my Asylum Challenge. Um, it will be a bit jumpy to start off with. The reason why you're not seeing any of the actual build stuff, or at least barely any of it, is because I originally built um, them a house and it was just going to be a uh, like a starter home, so I didn't want it to go over the 20,000 20, simoleons because I was like, you know, that's all I'll have. And so I built it, but it was just really boring. And I was like, oh, no, I want more for them. I want I want them to live in a really, like, comfortable family homey home, you know? So um, basically what I did was I just sort of took the concept that I already had, which was basically a small blue paned home with a um, half wraparound deck. And I kind of just expanded on that. So I made it a bit bigger. This one, for example, is two stories, stuff like that. Um, it is also the very first build I have ever done with um, custom content. It is just a few um, sort of clutter items, as you can see here, like the bowls and some of the appliances and stuff. Um, and then some paintings that I've put in. That was purely because I, I just, I really wanted it to make it... Um, as homey as possible for Tess and James, you know, like they've been living in the asylum for so long, you know, this was their opportunity to have, um, you know, their own place with their own things. So, you know, James loves to cook and he's a, um, what is he, glutton or foodie or something? I can't remember now. Anyway, so he loves his food. So I thought, you know, have a really nice decked out kitchen with a whole lot of appliances and stuff like that. Um, and then of course Tess, uh, her first aspiration was painting, so upstairs we have a little artist room. So the clutter items I used were like kitchen stuff, laundry, and then like gardening and painting. Um, I'll link in the description, well not link, maybe not link, but oh, I could link, I'll see how I go. <laughs> but I'll put in the description bar um, who the creators were for all of those types of um, sort of group together collections of uh, custom content that I've used in this build. Uh, but for the most part, this is mostly going to be um, furnishing the home and um, doing a little bit of gardening outside, but nothing major. Um, yeah, so yeah, so the reason, yeah, so that's why we don't have um, me actually building it because I kind of already built the concept, like this whole like. Uh, lounge on the left going round to the bar the um sorry the kitchen was kind of already there um i've just changed it a little bit and um i thought i filmed it and i think i did but i may have accidentally deleted the video because i had that happen with another speed build that i was doing as well but i mean it's pretty standard <laughs> so you know i don't think it should be too much of a problem if well, I mean, there's not much I can do about it now because I don't have a video of me doing the build, so <laughs> y'all just gonna have to be okay with it, <laughs> please. <laughs> also, apologies that it took, um, I'm a little bit out of whack with uh, my posting times at the moment. Um, I've had a lot to do for finish rounding off this Asylum Challenge episode and, sorry, challenge and, you know, certain things I want to put out before other things. Um, and then it's my partner's birthday today. So yesterday I had to bake, well not, I didn't have to, but he wanted to bring some muffins into his work and since I'm the baker in the family then I needed to uh, make him some muffins. However, um, I went to do that and had the oven on and I'd mixed all my dry ingredients and then our power was shut off and I was like, oh my gosh so I quickly turned off the oven even though it was off but like you don't want we've got gas in our house so like you don't want that just coming on randomly without you realizing or whatever um and then I remembered that we actually got a message from our um, power company I think it was like last week or something saying that the power was going to be shut off either yesterday or today uh because of roadworks or something and um yeah so the power got shut off so I couldn't make my muffins I couldn't do any of the editing that I was going to do yesterday um so, and it was going to be shut off between like nine in the morning and two in the afternoon or something. So yeah, I, I was completely beside myself. I was like, what do I do? I, it's, it's amazing how m much we rely on technology these days because 
I just was like, what am I gonna do? I think I ended up like walking around the mall, but I have no money, so <laughs> I was just walking. I didn't go into any shops in case I found something I wanted. And then I, I think I went to the library and then I went to another library because I'm looking for certain books and I just can't find them anywhere. So it was an interesting day. Um, but you know, I made the muffins in the end and they turned out really fine and really fine. They turned out good. I just got a text from Nick just before and he said everyone raved about them. So that makes me happy. <laughs> but yeah, so it kind of just, yeah, it, it just put a spanner in the works and everything was kind of out of sync and everything. Uh, you will find out in the screenshots that this room has changed somewhat. I was so excited to play with Tess and James and little Freddie that I kind of just started playing straight away after I'd finished building it. And I hadn't taken any screenshots yet. So for example, outside there's a whole lot of um, like planter boxes and stuff. Well, you know, when I built them, they're empty, but in the screenshots, they're full of plants because I started playing and she planted the whole lot of things. And you'll notice that in this kid's room, there are two beds because they have another little boy and his name is Wesley. I, um, I don't have any photos of him yet. But if you follow my Instagram, then eventually there will be some because I am planning to do, well, I'm planning to take some like family shots with the four of them. And he's adorable. He takes after Tess. He's got brown hair. Um, and his name's Wesley. I think I already said that, but yeah, he's adorable. So this is Tess and James's bedroom. I really wanted it to be nice and bright, but kind of like soothing and calming. So I went with this kind of yellow... Uh, light blue pale gold sort of um, color scheme to it and I think it came out pretty well like there's still pops of color because I think that suits them as a couple and, and as you know who they are as well um, but it's it's really calming I, I found you know just nice and nice and simple you know a couple of chairs a big comfy bed for the first time ever I used um, one of those like custom content throw rug things which I've never used before um, but it's so cute <laughs> I just thought it was really funny uh, yeah so I think what I'll end up doing with this build is I will I don't know whether I should upload it to the gallery and um, and have all the description in the description for this video all the links to the custom content or whether I should take all the custom content out and just upload it with no custom content. Because generally I don't build with custom content. Like, I haven't used any actual build things. Um, the only thing that I probably would do in the future with custom content for building is I found a mod that gives you terrain. So like different levels and like mountains and stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking I want to do something with that. But other than that, I don't really want to do any building with custom content. But I felt... For this build, I really wanted to capture James and Tess, you know, their personalities and, 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 and what they're like. And I felt this was this was truer to what their home would actually be like, you know, if if they were real. <laughs> so here you'll see the the painting stuff. So there was like the colours and the paintbrushes and the pencil sets and the easel with all those paintings on it. And there was a few other things in the set as well, but I just didn't end up uh, using them. And um, we also have a shed out the back, which I don't know if I've built at this point, but um, that ends up basically being like a storage area for uh, like, well, lots of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I think I probably, I don't really know what I should do about uploading it to the gallery. You guys tell me what you want me to do. And I'll also ask people on Instagram whether I should upload it with no custom content or not. I mean, I could do both, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so the house is pretty, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty standard. It's pretty basic. Like I haven't made any, it's not like in hugely modern or anything. It's just your typical family home, um, you know, 
but it's nicely furnished and it's colorful but calming it's not over the top which I felt was really important for Dick James and Tess you know to have in their home and to be honest it just it makes me so happy I know that sounds really weird but you know if anyone else is like me with sims and you, you get really get invested in your sims lives and you know I think I think this will will be a really nice house for them so I end up deciding to just combine the laundry and sort of like hallway closet kind of room together because it just looked ridiculous and it was irritating me like you wouldn't believe so I yeah just make it one big room and extend the hallway a little bit as well and I just pop all those items in there even though this room will probably never ever be used by them because there's actually only one item in there that can actually be used which is the sink uh, I still thought it was really cool uh, to just have that like homey feel you know with the clothing line and there's several other things in the pack that I well not the pack the, the sort of the set that I didn't use I'm pretty sure I got most of it from the sims resource I'm pretty sure there's a chance I may have found a link through Lana CC finds on tumblr but I'm pretty sure I found it on the sims resource anyway I'll put it all in the description um, who the creators are and stuff so if you guys want to download it yourself you can this was just I as I was building I just kept finding lots and lots of um, custom content stuff that I was oh I want to put that in that room but I haven't done that yet so I kind of just went outside and just filled up the lawn with all this stuff and was like yep cool I'll uh, I'll get back to you guys <laughs> so this is the shed I was talking about when I'd finished building this house I realized that I probably should have done it on a, a bigger lot um, I would have quite liked to have given them a pool and maybe a bit more lawn space um, but you know it's it's real it's easy enough to pick up this house and move to a bigger lot so I wasn't too concerned about it so for now this is how it is um, but the shed is basically a storage space for all of Tess's gardening stuff and um, you know some old easels and things like that I thought it not easels rather canvases I just thought it, you know it, it made it a bit more realistic to me because you know she's very into her gardening and she can fully embrace it now I also downloaded uh, these adorable little uh, signs for your plants um, they don't have everything at least not that I could I don't think so I haven't looked through all of it yet and I think there's like three different kinds in terms of the the art style of the um, pictures of the fruits and vegetables and stuff but it's really cute you'll see them in the screenshots I've sort of put them around all the plants in the end there they are there yeah so you can see like there's different kinds so like one's got like a white outline and the other one um, you know was a bit more realistic looking I guess and I can't remember what the third one was like but those that's what they were anyway so yeah so Tessa's little gardening corner is off to the side and then of course we have to have our bird feeder I also wanted there to be sort of like an indoor outdoor flow and I knew I was going to be giving James the um, the chef uh, the chef job because that's his aspiration so I figure if I can complete his first aspiration I might take away his insane trait but to be honest it's not even that big of a deal anymore like you know when you've only got one insane person versus eight <laughs> like it's not actually as as daunting as it originally was and then I thought it would be really cute to put a little puppet theater outside underneath the big tree with some uh, little beanie bag chairs or whatever you want to call them so yeah oh that's another custom content thing I downloaded but it wouldn't work on those fences but that's okay <laughs> and then I kind of just like threw these things everywhere <laughs> but yeah so um this is I think after this video will only be one more actual episode and that will be the episode of Tess, James and little Freddie actually moving into this house and um, it's basically just like their first day here kind of thing that's sort of what I was planning and that's what I filmed I'm pretty sure um, and then the challenge will be over and yeah that'll be 
That'll be the end of it. But as I say, I've already started playing and I'm absolutely loving it. Like getting to, um, you know, see them get, uh, have their, expand their family and all these other things. What's really funny though is that because it's in the same world as the Asylum Challenge, all of the inmates are just kind of like walking around. Oh, and I should probably tell you because I'm not sure if I'd done it yet. I think I'd done it by the time I started the episode. I may have even mentioned it in the new episode, but I got Ellie and Finnegan married and I made them get pregnant. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I was like, I have to. So I think her and Tess were like pregnant pregnant at the same time, which was kind of funny. But I aged up with Lee like way quicker because, um, well, because James and Tess are already in their, in their adult life stage and I wanted the kids to be closer together. So yeah, <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to ramble a little bit now because I'm like, oh, there's not really that much time left to like, to get, to put music in and meh. So <laughs> what I would be interested in is like, do you guys have any requests for things you might want me to build or at least try building, I should say, or a challenge, a new challenge you want me to start or anything like that because at the moment I'm not planning to start anything new I probably will just do a few more builds and stuff it'll just depend on timing really um, but if there's something that you guys actually want to see then I would gladly give it a go um, you know if I've got time or whatever so yeah let me know if there is anything and uh, you know I'll, I'll get right on that <laughs> oh yeah then I found the shelf thing and I was like what? I have never seen this before. Or at least I was pretty sure I hadn't seen it before. I also culled some of those custom content items that I'd used because I was like, I went a bit overboard. <laughs> and um, so I just kind of uh, sort of made it a bit more realistic and just had the pots and I think like one, I think the blender or and the scales or something. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I, this is basically just the ending bit where I just kind of Chuck a few other things in there. I thought the all the gnomes, the garden gnomes, would be really cute to have everywhere. And I've got a little kids art station in there, so if, you know Tess is painting, and you know little Freddie or Wesley could be painting as well when they're a child. I just thought that was really cute. <laughs> and of course, you've got to have my pot plants. You know how I like my pot plants. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I just felt like the front of the house was kind of meh, so I was trying to uh, zhush it up a little bit. Not sure if I succeeded, but, you know, whatever. I'm only human, after all. And we'll be coming into the screenshot super soon. So, just finishing off a few little tidbits of their room. And ta-da! So this is the lounge which then moves into the dining and kitchen. I like, I'm really into this whole using different colored chairs at the table thing right now. Um, you'll notice I did it in my Oasis Springs, what, what is it, Oasis? No, Desert Oasis build that I uploaded today, uh, or released today, I should say. Yeah, and then got a little laundry room. I really like the hallway, is that weird? Like, I, I really like it, I think it's pretty. Downstairs bathroom, nothing, you know, too major there. But again, with the blue, you know, the calmingness and, yeah. And then the kids' room, so here you'll see that the bed, there are two beds in there now, so it is slightly different. And it's a little less put together because I kind of did it in a rush because I was like, oh my God, I don't have a bed. <laughs> Wesley doesn't have a bed. <laughs> Art room there. And then we're going to the bedroom and stuff. So we're coming towards the end. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed build. I hope you guys like this house. Um, if you have an opinion about what I should do in terms of uploading it to the gallery with or without or both with CC, like, with CC or not, uh, let me know in the comments or on Instagram once I post some stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you for the next one. Bye guys.